one uh, term uh, really explains the uptake of private 5G networking, why it's such a hot topic, and that is Industry 4.0. Right. Uh, this is primarily or exclusively a service that's aimed at the enterprise segment, and it entails really the ability for organizations to use a, a plethora of sensors and uh, collaborative robots and other capabilities uh, throughout their facilities, uh, you name it, uh, a smart factory, a smart facility, smart fill in the blank. And this is really, I think, uh, very exciting because what we're seeing now is the successful implementation of uh, private 5G networking. And it's really uh, can be attributed to uh, additional drivers. Uh, for example, uh, regulators have uh, basically pushed a sub six gigahertz spectrum for availability, and that would be suitable for many of these uh, scenarios. And likewise, there's just more availability of unlicensed and shared spectrum that would be supportive of uh, private 5G networking. And uh, a little foregrounding, uh, private networking has been around for a while, and we've had a successful uh, private LTE networks being implemented leading into the now uh, uptake of uh, what is called 5G non-standalone, really the, you know, the combination of 4G and 5G capabilities. And now we're kicking into 5G standalone uh, mm -hmm. networking uh, for you know, these 5G uh, scenarios. And uh, this is all coming together. And I think one reason why Industry 4.0 is really keen on private 5G networking is that, uh, first of all, it's a security first uh, implementation. Right. Many of these uh, organizations are wary about using public 5G networking to support you know, these smart capabilities. And this is, uh, makes sense. Right. In addition, it's also fundamentally about coverage. That is, when you're talking about operations like mining and seaports and airports and so forth, the uh, out offshore drilling facilities, uh, Wi-Fi uh, wi is just a uh, non-applicable, it's just a non-starter. Right. And it's the same reason uh, here as well in terms of security. Uh, 5G just has built-in security capabilities that Wi-Fi, even with the current iterations, really don't deliver quite yet. And, you know, Wi-Fi could be appropriate, you know, for like uh, guest services at a hotel, uh, you know, a visit to the coffee shop, uh, for you know, internal communications at a, a operation center, uh, but it's not going to be able to do the heavy lifting that a private 5G network can do. Yeah. And so this is adding fuel to uh, the uptake. Uh, for example, uh, we've seen um, research from uh, Polaris uh, suggesting that there's 40% compounded annual growth expected in this segment alone uh, through uh, 2028. And as a kicker, you have ABI coming in and saying 60% compound annual growth <laughs> in this segment through 2030. Right. And, uh, you know, we can always um, press on the numbers, but I think it definitely is validating the fact that this is really a space that is hot and is only going to get hotter. And uh, these are many of the reasons why it's just yeah. coming together and generating these headlines that we're talking about today.